Hello friends, we're back with another video. Making multiple videos in one day. Let's just knock it all out. But anyways, today I am walking you guys through the process of another painting. And that is this painting right here you see behind me. You'll see it up close and personal in the actual video. Um, but it's something that I've been working on for a client of mine, which is actually like family. Um, but very excited to let you guys know about the process of this painting. I think I'm just going to kind of do vlog style, just talk about what's been going on in life, what I'm doing right now, the projects I'm working on, and just a bit about this painting, how I created it, who is it for, why am I doing it, and all those fun things. But isn't it so cute? Isn't it so cute? I'm very excited about the grass, very excited about that. But also wanted to let you guys know about some new things. I just today, um, which this is actually days later, so maybe I won't even mention it, but if you're on Patreon, bless you, thank you, I'm appreciative of you. If you're not on Patreon, every week I post a astrological updates, giving you guys the key main days that are important, um, given the astrology for the week. And then also every month I upload a tarot video. That's the idea, a tarot video every month. And then also a written out tarot post forecast for the month that is only on Patreon. And then also I've updated the shop and I've got some new candles in there. I used to have candles and I've recently rebranded. So these candles are actually set your own intention candles. I thought about adding crystals and herbs like I used to do, like I've normally done. And I don't know, I just wanted a more refined, fresh look. And that's not what it actually looks like. That's just like the one that I poured for myself. I just reused the container. Um, but the one that you guys will receive if you order from me in my palmistry shop is this one. So this is refreshed. It's only one of the three candles that I have right now. I have to upload the other two. Um, but this is what it looks like. There aren't any herbs or any crystals or anything on top because it's a set your own intentions candle. That was my idea with this. Instead of me setting the intentions and kind of putting in what I wanted for that or what I felt people might like, I thought, why don't I just have these candles for sale? I can put Reiki into them like I always do. And then you guys can add your own crystals, your own herbs and whatever else you want to add to it. I really wanted to refine the look, so I put them in these really, really nice glass jars with these nice wooden lids. And eventually, I think what I might do is add an option where you can get some of my intuitive artwork. Probably will be dis different for each lid of these candles, but I think I might do some wood burning in the lids of these and add that as an option. So you can either buy it just plain like this, buy it with some artwork, that sort of thing, which I'm trying to think if I want to do it like made to order because then I'm not having to just make a whole bunch and then people don't get them. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing with that. But enough of my updates. I'll let you guys know more about what's going on, what I'm doing and all those fun things um, as we get into the process of me creating this painting. Here we are at the canvas. And what I am doing first is putting a wash down on the canvas. I like to do this to kind of throw some paint on the canvas. I feel like the paint that I put on afterwards just goes on so much smoother and easier. Um, sometimes I feel like if the canvas isn't gessoed enough, which I have since, I guess lately, <laughs> been adding extra gesso or an extra layer or two of gesso to my canvases because if you don't have enough, it's just a lot harder for the paint to go on. It doesn't stick as well. You have to do a bunch of coats. So yes. And also this is kind of the color of the sky for this painting. And there's some of these undertones underneath the dresses um, that these girls have on in this painting. So I would also even say even in the trees and the grass, there's this undertone of this blue, gray, white mixture. So that's another reason why I threw that down on the canvas. But this is actually a wedding gift for two girls that are getting married. They look so super cute in this painting and also in the original picture. And there is rain. They are running through the rain. That's something else that I have to add and I have not added yet. And there are some details and things I might end up adding to this painting as well. I wouldn't say it's completely finished, but I at least wanted to show the beginning half of the process. So when I end up adding the rain, I will show you guys the other half of this process as well. 
but here I am adding in the grass and I kind of layered it up. I put in the undertones, I guess I would say, um, the wide, not wide, but the little bands of color, the differentiation in the grass itself. And then here I like to kind of take a brush, spread out the bristles a little bit by squeezing them with my fingers. And then I dip it into the paint and I'm just kind of lightly poking the canvas. And the spreading of the bristles allows for me to get more of this kind of textured grassy look. And then um, just kind of lightly dipping it in the paint allows me to have just enough paint to make a mark on the canvas without kind of overpowering it. But you can see I'm again layering it up. I usually work in between lights and darks as I go. I just have always been like that. There are certain cases where it's better to work from light to dark or dark to light. Um, but for things like this, I just, I don't know, I feel like it's easier for me to see it come together. As I'm in a certain area, I'm like, ooh, we should add some of this. Um, this will make it pop. And it just makes it easier for me to visually see everything. So you can see I'm kind of building it up, layering it up, and adding these different layers um, of colors in the grass. It makes it really nice and lifelike. Um, and then we'll move on to the trees after all of this, but you'll see me build all of this up. But you'll see me build all of this up. So some other things that I've been working on are, I guess my Patreon, that's kind of been my So something I've been working a lot on has been my Patreon and just kind of building all of that up. Um, I have been doing my best to be more consistent with it because I felt like in the past it was just really hard to keep up with, especially with me trying to do so many things. I feel like I was spreading myself thin between all these platforms because they tell you you have to have a presence on all of them. So I've decided to kind of focus a lot of my work and my effort into TikTok. I'd say that's my main platform at this time. And um, now YouTube is another platform that I'm focusing on a lot. I like the kind of archival effects of YouTube. That's one reason why I really, really enjoy putting any content on here. Um, but otherwise, I lightly use Instagram, never really use Twitter for business related things. I've gotten into threads lately, but I don't know how I feel about that. And Facebook, just for, I guess, the people that I know locally that are keeping up with what I do. But yeah, if you are a creator and you're an artist and you're trying to put out more content, be more consistent, I would highly recommend looking into Metricool, M-E-T-R-I-C-O-O-L. They allow you to schedule your posts. They give you analytics and feedback. And it's really, really nice because it's not like Later or some of those other platforms where you kind of have to pay to have those different perks. You can just be able to look at all those different things. Um, there are some pro added things that you can pay for and get, you know, different perks. Um, but I haven't paid for it so far. I've used it for two months and I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, something I would say though is that you do only get to post 50 posts a month for some of you that might be just fine uh, others of you you might post more so keep that in mind but a good way to stay consistent something I've been using and utilizing so I did the trees layered it up like I said I was going to here we're doing the skin tones I use like a little peachy like pink color and then I also used a brown color and I used some white, I think a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange in certain areas. So you'll see me building up all those colors, but right now I'm working on the dresses. So it's a lot of whites, a lot of grays. For some of the really bright highlights, I was using the Posca marker um, and some of the finer little folds and lines. I feel like I just really love using Posca markers along with my paintings. Um, for even fine hairs similar to how I'm doing here where it's just fine little lines and it's nice because I can just use my finger to kind of blend it all in but anyway enough of my rambling that's me talking through the process of creating this painting mm -hmm. 